On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the At Games BitPixel LED marquees for both the Legends Ultimate arcade cabinets as well as the Legends Pinball HD machines and what you can do in the event that your marquee no longer works anymore because At Games no longer supports the app in App Store X as well as what happens if you happen to buy one of these secondhand. How are you going to get it up and running? Okay, guys, we are back, and it was over three years ago that At Games signed a partnership with Al Linky over at Pixelcade to bring LED marquees called the BitPixel LED marquees to run natively off of their platform. And what was really cool about these marquees is they'll work with the built-in games as well as there's way to uh, get them to work when you bring your own game. Very successful product. At Games sold thousands of these to customers out there. I personally love them. Some people don't. And uh, they even came out with one called the BitPixel HV, which was a smaller version of the marquee that you could mount on top of the Legends Pinball HD uh, pinball machines. Now, what's really interesting and unfortunate is At Games has ceased their partnership with uh, Al Linky and Pixelcade. So because that partnership is gone, the BitPixel... Yeah, the BitPixel X app that was in the App Store X has been removed. That's right. If you fire up your Legends Ultimate Arcade Machines, no matter if it's the 1.0, the 1.1, the Legends Ultimate Mini, guess what happens? You're not able to see the app anymore in App Store X. Now, what happens is if you're a current customer, I've noticed it's been a hit or miss from people out there whether or not their marquees are still working. But if their marquee happens to stop working or in the event that they lose their flash drive X where the software is already installed on or in the event that their flash drive gets corrupted because these things happen, well, guess what happens? It's not at App Store X anymore for you to download the app and try again on a new flash drive. Also, if you happen to be somebody who buys one of these secondhand, which that happens a lot in this space, I'm expecting when the At Games Legends Ultimate 4K goes up for sale, that a lot of people might sell their original At Games Legends Ultimate arcade machines on the market to help fund the purchase of their Legends Ultimate 4K. What happens if you buy one of those, right? You're gonna have this LED marquee that someone's gonna advertise and you're going to take it home and log in and create an account and your brand new customer to at games first at games arcade machine and you go to try and get your uh, bit pixel marquee working and you can't download the app because you weren't a current customer at the time that this thing was sold and it's no longer supported for you okay so how are you going to fix this to make sure that your um, bit pixel led marquee works with the built-in games as well as if you have a coin ops x uh, add-on x add-on type flash drive well, first thing you're going to want to do is plug in a blank flash drive into your um, PC. So I have a brand new flash drive here. I even labeled it. I renamed it blank. So make sure you have a blank flash drive plugged into the PC. Then in your Windows search bar, you're going to type in the word partition. And you'll see an option that says create and format hard disk partitions. And when you click on that in your Windows search bar, it'll say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, you hit yes. This brings up your disk management tool. Now be very careful on here. If you've set up CoinOps X before making dual partitions, you're gonna be kind of familiar with what we're looking at. The top disks are probably gonna be your hard drive and PC stuff. Make sure you don't touch these and screw up your computer. Make sure it says removable. <laughs> so we have a 32 gigabyte removable hard drive here. What we wanna do is we wanna split this hard drive up into two partitions. Right now, all the storage is in a single partition. So we're gonna click here and we're gonna hit delete and we're gonna delete this volume. Now there's no, no nothing allocated on this hard drive. Now we're gonna go ahead and right click on it, click on new simple volume. It brings up a volume wizard. We're gonna hit next and we wanna set up the first volume to be uh, eight gigabytes. So let's just say about 8,200. I think it's like 81 something. Uh, a worth of space. So just eight gigabytes for the first partition. We're gonna hit next. Uh, assign drive letter F is okay. We're gonna hit next. And we wanna make sure we do not format the first partition. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit next. 
and finish. And you'll notice we now have a blue healthy partition right here that hasn't been formatted. Now what we want to do is head over here to the unallocated space on the, on the drive, right click on it, click on new simple volume, and then we're going to go ahead and hit next again, and we're going to just allocate the rest of the space. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And it's going to assign, if this is drive E, this is going to become F. So we're going to hit next. And for this one, we can go ahead and format it FAT32. And we can go ahead and click next. Remember, you're not formatting the first partition. You are formatting the second partition. And we're going to go ahead and click finish. And boom, it'll be done. And we will have two uh, healthy partitions here on our drive. Now you notice the, the one that we did format is labeled F, so let's keep that in mind. Next thing we wanna do is head over to this website on GitHub where Legends Unchained, the Pixelcade enabler file is located. And it's got some simple instructions here, but I'm gonna walk you through it. Really, the only thing you need to grab on here is your add-on X Pixelcade enabler UCE. That's right, a UCE file that will launch Pixelcade. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on this because we wanna download it. It's gonna say, where do you wanna download it to? Well, keep in mind, guys, remember, the, the one drive we formatted was F, E we did not format. We wanna make sure we put it on this one that we did format. So make sure it's whatever letter matches up on your computer. Your letters might be different depending on how many drives you have connected to your computer. So we're gonna pick the formatted drive F and we're gonna hit save. We're gonna download this file right to that heart, to that flash drive. Now at this point, we're gonna head on over to the arcade machine once it finishes downloading. Okay, heading over to the arcade machine. Let's show you what you need to do to get this working. This is an At Games 1.0 Sam's Club unit, the older, older model. We're gonna unplug everything from our USB ports, especially our CoinOps X drive. You're gonna wanna do this no matter what arcade machine you have. Go ahead and remove your CoinOps X flash drive. Grab your new flash drive. If you have the Sam's Club unit, you do need to mount it in the left port for this to work. Now, if you have one of the newer 1.1 cabinets where right along the edge here, there's a silver rail with the USB ports, it doesn't matter what port it's plugged into, but you need the left port for this original unit. Okay, now we're gonna head over and we do need to install Flash Drive X on this flash drive, which is why we made two partitions on this flash drive. So we're gonna go to settings, find the Flash Drive X tile, click on A, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on the format option. Again, we're formatting that one partition that we never formatted on the PC, remember? So we're gonna go ahead and click on, uh, yes, we wanna format. And it should only take just a couple of seconds. It's really, really fast. And it now turns this into a flash drive X flash drive. You go ahead and hit the dismiss button after it finishes formatting. Now at this point, we wanna make sure that this works with our CoinOps X drive, our add-on X drive, and all that stuff, right? I'm assuming most of you out there have got a drive like that to bring your own games on these platforms and you want your marquee to work. You're probably gonna want a quick little USB hub. I'll have a link for this Amazon one in the video description below. I've been using this Sabret, Hunt, Sabret drive for years or Sabret hub for years with the at game stuff, never had any issue. We're gonna go ahead and plug in our original flash drive that we had in there that's got our CoinOps X stuff and all that. And then this new flash drive that we just created, which only has the BitPixel stuff, we're gonna plug it in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug that into that far left port. And our marquee uh, USB is plugged into that first, uh, that second port on the right. Once you plug in your drives, make sure that the uh, little flash drive icon is solid, that it's no longer blinking, so it's done reading your drives. And now at this point, we can go ahead and mount the flash drive. So we're gonna go ahead and, so now we're gonna go ahead and click on that flash drive X tile and we're gonna head over and now we're gonna mount it. So we're gonna hit mount, yes. Try to mount the flash drive X and it should only take a second and then boom, it's done and it's mounted. We just got a couple quick steps left. We're gonna go ahead and hit the B button to back out. At this point, we're gonna head over to the BYOG menu. Now the BYOG menu is now where you're gonna find the Pixelcade installer. You'll notice that we're still missing the app under App Store X. So let's head over to BYOG and then go to add-on. Under add-on, you're gonna see that there's this forward slash and you'll notice that right here under that forward slash is the BitPixel 
installer. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And what'll happen here is really, really cool is it will start extracting the file and downloading all the artwork and everything onto the flash drive. So it does take about two to four minutes for it all to download. So let's just kind of fast forward. After it downloads to 100%, it takes you right back to this particular screen. So now we can head on over to the App Store X menu. Now what's very interesting here is on the very last page, we're gonna see the tile pop up. Might take a second to load. So let's head on over to page five of five. And it's not there yet. Let's kind of go back, go back over. And sure enough, you're gonna see it there, this tile. Now the tile could have artwork depending on what firmware you're on, etc. But in my case, it doesn't have artwork, but guess what? The tile's right there. And boom, we have BitPixel X. Once again on our machine, go ahead and hit the A button to access the software. Takes you to this screen and then we just hit the A button again. And then you'll see right there, it says, do you want to launch? We're gonna hit launch. And of course, we're gonna set it to automatically turn on every time we turn on our arcade machine moving forward. Hit the launch button, kick back, give it a minute because it takes a minute before it fires. And you'll see it kick in. Welcome to BitPixel X. BitPixel X is back on this arcade machine after disappearing when At Games did their recent updates. It's a little bit of a shame that uh, At Games still hasn't made kind of like a formal announcement, best practices, best steps. If you are a current owner, it's supposed to still work with your machine if you have one. Uh, I guess something behind the scenes where it should identify and work even though the app has been removed. But if for some reason your flash drive gets corrupted, uh, you lose it, or you buy a machine secondhand and you need some help on uh, getting this back up and running, uh, big shout out to Nix and the Legends Unchained team for finding a way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give me your thoughts, feedback, reactions below. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up on the way out, and thank you for subscribing.